scheduled for five rounds if need be. So he won the championship fight the last time by vicious knockout. So you can expect not just a bigger gate tonight, more pay-per-view buys. This guy's Twitter following has really soared on the strength of what he was able to do in a championship setting his last time out. So he's not putting any undue pressure on himself to get the finish here tonight. But if his last performance is any indication, we could be looking at something special yet again here tonight. Whitaker gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. All right, first round is underway, and you know what to look out for here. The powerful overhand punches. That is a big part of his game plan. Every time he makes this walk, it is his go-to punch. We'll see if he can find a home for it early tonight. Ooh, blocks the shot. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Well, he's playing with fire here, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable to that jab by almost leaning into it right into his opponent's range. Got to find a way to move those feet and ultimately get that head off of the center line. Effective punch there by Whitaker. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Nice punch by Robert Whitaker. That one hurt. Misses with the kick. And he lands a big right hand. Oh! We got a fight, folks. Knee to the body. to the head. Oh, side knee! And Beautiful he lands left, a big hand. left hand there. Oh! That one appeared to stun him. And he's trying to pass. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Just missing on the high kick there. Vicious oh, left hand. Dan. We'll see if he can follow it up. Oh! Now wow! Ten seconds to go here. Let's see what happens. Wow! Oh, round two next. Oh, so there's the horn signaling the end of the round. Thankfully for him, that'll keep him in the fight. Knocked down near the end of the round. Saved by the bell, ladies and gentlemen. And here, a perfectly placed punch results in a knockdown. And here it is from a different angle. Second round here. This is going to become one of those things where you're just wondering what's, what's the opponent going to be able to do to him. Not even whether or not he's going to win, but what's his opponent going to be able to do to him. for an elbow. Well, his opponent's got the read now, Joe, as he lands the punch to the head. He's got to change up his striking pattern and the tempo, or he's going to continue to be vulnerable oh! to that time. This could be it right here. Oh, head kick! Well, he's landed some excellent shots in this fight tonight, but more often than not, it has been one and done. So the emphasis now moving forward, combinations. Throw your punches in bunches and really try to force the issue and get your opponent out of it. That punch will work right through the goal. Lands the front kick to the body. Now nice work on the feet by Whitaker. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one. A little bit of a feeling out. Oh, he tagged him. The champ is rocked. He's in deep trouble right 
now. Deep trouble. He's trying to hang on. Oh, he might be out. Circling towards the left now, Joe. And he connects with the punch there. How about that chin? Good shots by the champion. So three minutes have flown. Oh! Wow. He's rocked! Big body, body shot. shot there, too. Oh! oh. Knee to the head, and he's down. That's it! That's, That's it! it. Wicked knockout here for the win. Well, Joe, you knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Let's see this again. Check it out here. Ba-boom! And there is the UFC middleweight king. Best fighter in the world at 185 pounds. What a knockout he turned in here tonight.